So what's going on guys, welcome back to episode number 2 of our Watford crew mode on the PS4 V15 and we're now in to episode number 2 as um, you've also done extremely well to hit that like button down below as we have now got a fantastic 55 likes within hours of first uploading the video so I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone that has gone ahead and um, watched the video and give me support on it as it's been absolutely incredible. Also, I'm going to try and do my very best to try and sign players that you guys suggest in the comments down below. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, so we're going to try and do our very best. But we do get the transfer for accepted for Francisco Rodriguez for 9.5 uh, or 950,000 plus um, a player. Whether we want him or not, we'd have to we offer him a contract, see if they accept, and then we'll uh, further research into him whether he's decent enough. Uh, Harry Winks, they want three hundred twenty-five thousand, so they don't want anything at all for him. So we'll just try and be a little bit cheeky, one hundred twenty-five, which I very very much doubt they will go ahead and accept that. But he's probably only mid fifties anyway. Malpi, two point four million. That is quite a bit too much and unfortunately we don't have that sort of money to be sending on a player that's not going to be our first team player anyway it, it, we're only going to be spending four million or two million if there is a player that we really do believe that is really good enough and is good enough to get straight into the first team lineup but we're going to try and go ahead and uh, bring in Connor Wickham but we're going to have to try and offload one of our players that we've recently brought in or recently got um, which I think we can try getting rid of this Prodal guy uh, for 900k plus him. It'd be good if we could try and get him in, but I very much doubt it once again because we just don't have the money. Also, about the thing offering these two players here, the Engabagmoto, whatever his name is, um, doesn't. It seems a lot cheaper, but you guys said that he's nowhere near as good. So we are going to go in for this guy here, Bernard Dashi. Uh, but we have to offer him a new contract, even though he's a little bit too heavy on the wage bill. I'm going to trust you guys on this one, and we're going to go ahead and try and bring this guy in. On Even though he's going to be a little bit hefty on the wages, we're going to try and go straight in and um, bring him into the club. So it's 20,000, and he'll be a squad rotation player if he does come in. As you guys say, he's around about 70 rated, and he does go up to low 80s, which would be fantastic if he does. So we're going to go in advance. Uh, sorry, we're going to go and uh, sim the game up against uh, AC Milan, which I very much doubt we will win because obviously they are much more um, better side than what we are. But we end up losing the game 1 0, so it's not the worst. And Vidra actually missed a penalty, so a little bit disappointing there that we did actually have the chance to get ourselves back in the game. Adam Armstrong, they only want uh, 800,000 for maybe if we go and offer 500. I'm just offering stupid amount of money, just try and see if any of them will accept. No way we can get him. No, uh, definitely not. No, and uh, that's it. So we're going to now go ahead and look for the players that you guys suggested. And the players that you guys suggested were pretty decent. So I'm going to go ahead and have a look at them. One of them that I'm extremely looking forward to try and bring him in is this youngster here in the likes of Mastor from AC Milan. He looks absolutely brilliant. He's only 16 years of age and I'd absolutely love to bring him in. So we're going to inquire about him and we'll try and bring him in. Another player you inquired about was uh, Browning from the centre-back from... Uh, Everton, he looks pretty decent as well, so I have to try to have a look, see if we can bring him in. Um, I'm not really looking for centre-backs, but if he's good and he doesn't complain and he's good for sitting on the bench, then there's no reason why we can't bring him in. Another player was Dwight Gale um, from Crystal Palace. He also seems pretty decent, but he might be a little bit too expensive, but he would be he would definitely, definitely um, strengthen up the squad. And the last player was Angel Correa who is a striker um, from a random league, but he does look pretty good. So once again, the suggestions that you brought in are look pretty decent and they do all look like exciting prospects of the future. And you guys might really have helped me out to try and get ourselves into um, a good position in the league and hopefully try and get ourselves um, like higher up the league table and don't get relegated, which would be great if we could. Um, this guy wants a bigger squad role, um, so he'll have to be an important first team player, even though he's not going to be. But if he's 70 rated, he might be getting more games than what I'm thinking. Um, the contract offers were accepted for these two players. Um, that is because I went in and um, offered loads of new contracts because they only had like one left on their um on their contract and it didn't cost me anything to upgrade them so it looks pretty decent so hopefully we'll be um 
sign a load more players in on um, contracts. So here we're going to try and offer 1.25 million plus Connolly, which I really don't think they're going to want a 69 rated centre back, but we have to wait and see. Nice say it's too not enough. Uh, they say that's not enough for Harry Winks. Um, Mass Store we can't get because he's only just joined the club, but what we can do is bring him in on loan. So if we bring him in on loan and try the 1 million uh, full season thing, so if they do accept him, we can buy him for 1 million, which would be great if we could. Um, Tyus Browning, well, obviously, if they want a bid in the region of zero, of course we'll bring him in, because if he's going to cost absolutely nothing, there's no reason why we don't want to bring him in. Uh, Dwight Gale, maybe 2.8 2 million, that is quite a bit, but if we offer straight 1.2, it would be great if they would accept it, but... It'll be very tight, and uh, Angel Crow has only just joined them, and unfortunately this guy is, um, Aurelio Gomez, sorry, has also just joined the club, so he won't be moving anywhere. Um, Newcastle, they said they want 625, uh, 600 uh, for Adam Armstrong, so we'll go ahead and offer that. Maybe we'll bring him in, maybe not. He's not a player that I'm really looking forward to using, um, but just have to wait and see. And we now move into our second friendly, which we're going to see him at once again. And hopefully we can come off with a win. Even though we're playing away from home, I do believe we can get pick up a win in this one as we end up drawing 1-1. So now we have a transfer offer from um, Getafe for Vidra. And there's no way we're going to accept that unless they up it to like 25 million. Because there is no way we're going to go ahead and sell one of our best and most promising players straight away, straight into the season. They say they want 2.5 million for Dwight Gale. Unfortunately, that's way too much money for what we can um, ex try and get him in for. But we'll try and offload one of the players that we're not really looking at using, and hopefully that will try and convince them. Uh, but I very much doubt it will do. There might be a striker here that doesn't seem too decent, and he's not really in our plan, especially when we've got the likes of Kingsley Cohen behind him, and we're going to go in and try and look for uh, some more players to bring in as well, then obviously he's not going to be used. Um, Everton accept the zero um, inquiry for Tyrus Browning, so he'll be a uh, squad rotation player if he does come in. Only zero on the, wage, on the transfer fee and 4,000 on the wage budget, that's nothing whatsoever. And they decide to reject it because they're unsure whether they want to let him um, go at the end of the season. But we'll go ahead and just try and full season and loan him straight away anyway because it'd be good to have him into the club, um, especially just as a player that we can use there and there and out. Um, this guy says that he doesn't really want to come at the moment, so maybe if we offer him 25k, uh, that will try and convince him to come in. He looks pretty decent, as um, also you guys have let me know in the comments down below that he is pretty good. Uh, Javier Manquilla, they want 3.5 million. That is just absolutely crazy amount of money, and there's no way we're going to be buying him unless, um, obviously, we can convince Liverpool to let him go for a stupid, uh, stupidly low amount of money. This guy, they want that much money for. Nathan Ake, they only want that, so maybe if we offer 700 that might convince them. So we now get a transfer offer for Josh Doherty. So he is um, a player that we don't really want at all. And they've offered him, offered us 10,000, which is the least amount of money I've ever seen offered for a player. So um, thankfully, uh, we've got rid of a player there. Adam Armstrong, we will go ahead and offer him a contract. Whether we'll go ahead and bring him into the club, that's another matter. But he'll be a sporadic first team player if he does come in. But he doesn't look very good at all. Uh, but he, he might be able to do anything. Conor Wickham has actually accepted, so this could be a massive deal if we could bring Conor Wickham in, as he will be a massive, important first-team player if he does come in, as he will be used um, in many, many games for us. And Joe Cancelo, obviously, 4.3 million. There's no way we're going to bargain them down at all to get anywhere near what we would want to spend. And we're going to go into the last game, and we're going to go ahead and um, use our new squad, or the squad that we've just built, as uh, hopefully we can try and bring off a very good win here, especially with Odegaard playing at the camp position. Maybe he can pick up a goal on his debut. And we end up drawing 0-0, and Vidra once again missing a penalty. So he's missed two penalties so far. Um, that's pretty disappointing. So we're now going to go in and offer 600,000 plus Anya for Nathan Ake, because that's another player that you guys wanted me to buy in the comments down below. The contract offer was accepted for Tyus Browning, so we don't want to buy any more centre-backs, um, definitely not anymore. Um, and Mastor will also be joining the club as uh, he's accepted his loan deal offer. So he's only 16 years of age, but he has now joined the club um, on a season-long loan. And we're going to go ahead and straight and have a look at him, see if he's any decent, and I'm um, hoping he's at least um, high 50s or low 60s which would be good if he is, um, if we can find him, 
Mastor. He's 66 rated, so he looks a very, very good player. He's got five-star skill moves. Five-star... Oh, my God. He's going to be a player that I'm going to play with all the time if he's got five-star skill moves. He's got low defensive work rate, and this guy looks like an absolute monster, and I'm really looking forward to using this guy now, and he will probably be moving straight into our first-team lineup. We've also got Tyus Browning, who's a 63 rated now, um, so that's also good, and... Um, the only really position we need to improve now is striker, which we will hopefully be trying to bring in Connor Wickham in the up and coming games. We are going to move into the next or the first game of the season, which will be in this episode, and um, hopefully then we can pick up three points in our first game for the club. And hopefully, get off to a flying start. Now we're going to go ahead and off and accept both Federico Bernacci and Connor Wickham if we've got enough money. So if we go ahead and accept Connor Wickham into the club, so Connor Wickham has now signed for the club, and also this. Uh, guy here as well. We're going to have to adjust the wage bill just a little bit so we can um, get him in. And once we do, I think he's maybe 25,000. So if we can go ahead and bring in this guy as well, we would have done absolutely incredible in the transfer window so far. And actually, there we've brought in so many new players. Adam Armstrong we could also bring in as well if we wanted to, but I don't think we want to bring in another striker. We just don't need more strikers at all. And I think the, the rest of the money we should use to go ahead and try and either sign a right back or a left back or maybe try and uh, put the money into our scouting system which would also be quite decent if we could do that as well. Um, so it should be good for us and hopefully we can pick up our first win of the season. Maybe I think it's up against Norwich. Um, yes it is. So we can pick up hopefully our first win of the season up against Norwich who have only recently got promoted as well and we were the first team to get promoted so hopefully we can go ahead and um, beat the the team that come through the playoffs as they beat Middlesbrough in the final as they beat them 2-0. So we get a transfer offer for Fernando Forestieri and they offer 900,000 so that's quite a big uh, deal for us. We'll go ahead and um, count for 1.1. If they go do match that then obviously we will let the um, quite pretty decent striker go and uh, hopefully if we do let him go um, we'll be able to make room for another player that we can try and bring in with the money that we will get from his um, sale and they have decided to match it so we will have around about 900,000 more to go ahead and try and bring in a new player so we're going to jump straight into this game up against Norwich and hopefully we can pick up the three points. So we're going to jump straight into our game at home at Vicarage Road up against Norwich City, the recently promoted club along with us. And hopefully we can pick up three points and get off to a flying start um, to the league table, obviously. And um, it'd be great if we could pick up our first three points against the recently promoted side. So we do put out pretty much one of our strongest possible squads, Mastor, Odegaard, um, both making their debuts in this game. And hopefully, and Prodor obviously as well making his debut. Hopefully we can bring in a few more players as well. Um, but um, the players that we have brought in, a lot of them are on the bench because they're not good enough at this moment in time to jump straight into the first team lineup. But the first chance of the game, that's the fault to them. Jerome Boateng has a really good chance, um, but his shot just goes uh, wide of the post. But Mastor has a shot there, but he just gets a little bit too much power on it. He got a little bit too ambitious, and his shot goes powering over the top of the bar. But they do get a really good chance here, but a fantastic save from Hugo, um, no, from Jurelio Gomez, sorry, and um, Prodal makes a fantastic world-class block there, just showing how he is such a good defender. We do come really close here with Mastor as he cuts past a few players as a shot but unfortunately it just goes wide of the post and the last chance of the game does fall to us but Ruddy makes a fantastic save and that is pretty much how the game finished up. So now as we can see our player Fernando Forestieri has now been sold, 925,000 has been allocated to our transfer budget and now hopefully we can go ahead and try and sign that one last player which will hopefully try and strengthen up our squad a little bit more. Considering we'd only just drawn 0-0 it wasn't the best result in the world, but hopefully we can try and improve that. But it will be very difficult up against Spurs. But that's actually going to be it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below. as very much appreciated. And once again, can we hit 25 likes? It would be absolutely great if we could. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.